In late January, Tumblr announced a new polls feature. Great feature. Zero constructive criticism. Of course, as this feature was being rolled out, everybody was competing to create increasingly deranged polls. And on February 3rd, Tumblr user ReliantK said, okay, let's bake a cake. You can click an answer on the poll to add an ingredient to the cake. How delightful. Within hours, this post got crazy popular out of nowhere. The cake is 43% vanilla extract. God help us. The vanilla extract memes are rampant across Tumblr. The natural assumption was that this recipe, if you could even call it a recipe, would not create anything vaguely cake-like, but rather some kind of horrible sludge. None was brave enough, bored enough, whatever it takes uh, to try and find out what this recipe creates, except one brave soldier, Tumblr user Neutron Dance. For personal reasons, I have a lot of vanilla extract in my apartment. It was here before the meme and it will be here after. Here are all the ingredients in their Tumblr approved quantities. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is indeed a teacup of vanilla extract. I laid everything out in twee little teacups to try and lessen the blow of this culinary affront to man about to occur in my kitchen. And seeing it done once, I was inspired. I decided to replicate Tumblr user Neutron Dance's culinary affront in my own kitchen, as well as a Tumblr pull pizza that I made. But before we get into that, I have to tell you a little bit about this video sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service which allows you to try out new fragrances every single month. It's your go-to place to discover, learn about, and experience new scents. It's great if you're already a fragrance aficionado or if you're a complete beginner. I am definitely still a beginner. This is now my second time getting Scentbird. The first time I knew absolutely nothing. Scents were like this whole world I had never explored, this whole avenue of self-expression that was I had just never tried out before. After I got my first month of scents, I actually ended up using them a lot, even the ones that I didn't think I liked at first. And so did my girlfriend. She kept finding them in the bathroom and stealing them. And I'd be like, you've been using my scent bird? This time around, they sent me three new fragrances. They come in these really cool bottles. As you can see, they're not little baby sample bottles. It's definitely a month supply. You can really wear something and feel it out for a whole month. They sent me Oh So Vert Centra. This one is strong. I like this one. It's described as seductive, pink sugar, red velvet. I did the, like the kombucha girl meme thing when I smelled this. I was like, oh, this is too sweet. Oh, I smell like a cake. Goutal Paris, Etoile de Nuit. I'm so sorry, French people. I like this one. This one evokes like clean hotel or like a spa. I am definitely excited to try these out for the month. That's what's really cool about Scentbird. You get to try things out figure out what you like before committing to a large and potentially expensive bottle. Scentbird lets you try out those expensive bottles for just $17 a month. And you can use my code strangeyons 55 for 55% 55 off your first month. That way it'll be just a little bit over $7. That deal is available if you're located in the US or Canada. Go check it out. And now back to your regularly scheduled content. When Neutron Dance made her cake, she used a recipe calculated by Tumblr user Princess Muck, who used this simple white cake recipe as like a starting point, a reference for normal cake ingredient quantities. She converted all the quantities into teaspoons, then percentages so that it could be compared with the tumbler cake. So the eggs are pretty much perfect. Butter and milk are very close to the right percentages. Flour is about half of what we need. Sugar is incredibly low while the baking powder is too high. And the vanilla extract. Oh Lord, the vanilla extract. She then calculated the recipe for the tumbler cake in teaspoons. Her results were slightly off. The original cake, she says, adds up to 189.75 teaspoons and the tumbler cake recipe she came up with adds up to 191. I'm sure we can all agree that is definitely accurate enough. Others have pointed out that there could be other ways to turn these percentages from the poll into a usable recipe, such as Tumblr user Bobcat Moran, who suggested using baker's percentages, which does sound like a good idea. That sounds like a, that's a smart idea. Maybe I should have done that. Details, details. There are many ways. There are many valid ways to make the Tumblr vanilla cake. However, Neutron Dance used the calculations by Princess Muck, and in doing so, she created something shockingly cake-like. She said, physically, it doesn't seem that bad. There's a distinctly crispy looking crust around the rim. While it's certainly denser than most cakes, it springs back when pressed and feels fully cooked. Many had predicted it would become an amorphous soupy sludge due to having nearly twice as much liquid as necessary, but the batter was thick enough to form a cohesive solid mass. She described her final result as not inedible and the texture as actually quite pleasant, comparing it to that of a banana bread with the rich, heavy moistness and a slight chew along the rim. She said, I personally enjoy bitterness to the point where I'd seriously consider this palatable if the sugar content was at least doubled. It wouldn't be better than a regular piece of cake, but it would be good. She ended her post with a poll. Do you believe me? Yes, you are God's bravest little soldier. No, your taste buds should be repossessed vanilla extract. I know that most of us either believed her or were drunk on vanilla extract when we read this post, but the claim that the Tumblr vanilla extract cake is not inedible? 
Shocking, controversial, I need to know the truth. But just the vanilla extract cake alone was not enough for me. I wanted to create one of my own tumbler pull recipes as well. So I said, Tumblr, I am inviting you to a pizza party. What you want on it? Cake and pizza, it feels very children's birthday party. If I posted this on your birthday, happy birthday. This is your party now, you can't leave. The ingredient options on my pizza bowl were just some normal tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese, locally foraged mushrooms, hot peppers, stinky anchovies, left beef, onion, some parmesan cheese, basil leaves, any fresh cracked pepper, sir. So that I wouldn't have to do any math, I simply made 1% equal to one teaspoon of ingredient, so five teaspoons of normal tomato sauce, etc. That's my pizza recipe. I also thirded the vanilla extract cake recipe because I don't want to waste too much food, I want to make it as small as possible, and I have some little tiny cake pans. So now having my two recipes, I headed off to acquire my ingredients. The basil, the mushrooms, the hot peppers, the cheese, the anchovies, etc. And the most important ingredient of all, vanilla extract. I had to ensure that I got the good stuff. Not not to hate on the artificial vanilla extract too much, it's, it's actually quite good. In baked goods, it really doesn't matter what type you use. You want to save the, the good, the real fancy vanilla extract for recipes that aren't cooked, like a, like a vanilla ice cream or something like that. Otherwise, the fake stuff is usually perfectly fine. However, the fake stuff, it's usually called something like vanilla essence or vanilla flavor. And this recipe, this, this serious tumbler poll specified vanilla extract. And I am not a skimper. Do you know? how much this was. Okay. Well? No. Higher? Yeah! It was like $18! Why is this tumbler cake so expensive? <laughs> vanilla extract is made by soaking vanilla bean pods in water and alcohol. The alcohol is what draws out the flavors, it's what does the extracting to create the vanilla extract. It needs to have a high alcohol content to be considered potent enough to be vanilla extract. The FDA actually mandates that vanilla extract has to be at least 35% alcohol. And in the tiny quantities that you would normally use vanilla extract, that alcohol will just evaporate in the oven and, and you're left with this beautiful whisper of vanilla flavor. However, in the quantities that I planned to use vanilla extract... What are you doing, you little baby? Today on Strange, we are going to bake a very normal cake. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees, <coughs> kitchen wench. Okay. Casper! Rats. Unsanitary rats in my kitchen! Rats. Rats in my kitchen. Rats. Rats. Rats in my kitchen! Let me get a close-up of my little ingredient tray. I put a lot of the ingredients in various shot glasses that we have in our house, and they look a little cursed, but that's okay. The white ingredients. Five tablespoons of sugar. Five tablespoons of milk. 5.6 tablespoons of butter. 6.3 tablespoons of eggs. I'm not sure how many eggs this will be. I'm starting with one. Oh my god. It doesn't really measure very easily. No. Okay. How many cups or teaspoons are in a cup? Interesting question. A fourth <laughs> a cup would be about 0 0.25. Right? And yeah, 6.3 yeah, yeah, yeah. teaspoons is about 0 0.13. So if I put in like mm, some of this, we're fine. Would you like to help me measure 24 tablespoons 20 of vanilla extract? Tablespoons or teaspoons? Teaspoons. Okay, you said tablespoons. Sorry. One. Oh, we're gonna do it slowly? Two. We can't just use like a measuring cup. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Don't make me lose count! Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Enter that SpongeBob. Twelve. Thirteen. A billion years later. Fourteen. Twelve seconds later. Fifteen. Sixteen. <laughs> Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 tablespoons of vanilla extract. It smells very alcoholic. <laughs> Horrible swamp cake! Stinging my lips. Did you take a sip of it? Yeah. Why? I did do a lot of research trying to figure out if there was any way this could kill us, and um, 
No. All of the warnings online are just like, mm, don't let your toddlers get drunk on vanilla extract. Or your rebellious teens. Side effects may include drunkenness, vomiting, alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Basically, it's alcohol. Yeah. Not good. Oh, that is absolutely putrid. I might vomit, actually. <laughs> If I had put a vanilla extract option on the pizza, it would have been like 90% vanilla extract. It would have not been, have been a pizza. It would have been a soup. So for like the 500 commenters being like, why was there no vanilla extract <laughs> option on the pizza pool? For obvious reasons. I am taking away the vanilla extract and I am putting it on the top shelf where you can't reach it. Please let an adult handle the vanilla extract. Oh my God, it is still coating my mouth. It is absolutely yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Let's mix up the dry ingredients before we combine them all. Baking powder. I'm gonna be real. It's not that bad looking. It's probably wetter than a normal batter, but like not by an insane amount, you know? Similar to pancake batter. Yeah. It's definitely a batter and not just like a liquid. I'm concerned by how much I want to vomit after that tiny sip of vanilla yeah. extract. There's fear in my heart for my own taste buds and the taste buds of the last person who said this was edible. So I don't think it rises very much. So I was gonna I think ask you I'll that. just put all of it. It does fit pretty perfectly. I calculated. Flawlessly, if I do say so myself. So. Mm. Sorry about mm. that. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Sorry. Bro. How long? 30 to 40 minutes. I'd say because ours is so small, we check it at 20. Pizza party time! There's Boys! So <laughs> Boys! Get away from my meats! There's too many cooks in the kitchen, right? <laughs> yeah, and two of them are cats. Are you basking in the Beyond Meat steam? I'm surprised they're so into the Beyond. Get the fuck away from my meats! <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Oh, you look so pretty. Hi, Mr. Pretty. So pretty. Oh, Mr. Pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Mr. Pretty. I just peeked the oven open slightly. I think we have like a minute left on the timer, but I just peeked at it a little bit, and I think I'm gonna take it out. Also, the scent that escaped was terrifying. People told me it would at least smell good because vanilla smells good. I... I mean, is the toothpick test valid to see if it's done? Well, oh, it comes out clean. Yeah. That's, you gotta do the middle though. Mm, I think I'm gonna call this done. Actually, well, you wanna give it another, this. you wanna give it another five minutes? Maybe cook off some more of the alcohol? Maybe. Pizza! Is of, this the amount of sauce we yes, get? Yes, of normal tomato sauce. You have given me five. There's no sauce. It's like the amount you get in a Lunchable. They gave us 18 mozzarellas. Okay. Cheese level decent. Onion. Might be a oniony pizza. This one was weird to measure. I actually convert. I converted the teaspoons into. Well, I converted them into cups, and then I measured them in a cup measure. Looks like a normal amount. Hot peppers. Okay. I think this is like four or five. Minus the sauce situation, it's not looking that bad. No, it's not the worst thing ever. Unless you really hate onions. Hello. <gasps> Three teaspoons of anchovy. Honestly, guys, could have been more. A little parm. Oh, I didn't measure the beef. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, okay. I've been using my luxuriously prepped ingredients this whole time. I forgot I didn't measure the beef. This is a quality production. Okay, one. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Three. I have uh, his face. Gerard Way is giving me comfort in these trying times. 21. 22. 23. I think it's 23. It's 23! 23. 23. 23. 23. Yay! Don't be pan. Excuse my earlier fuck up. This is 23% left beef. A kiss for good luck. Smokes. 20 minutes later. A little bit of fresh basil. About 10 teaspoons fresh basil. Problem is the pepper. I'm conflicted because I think this might make it inedible and it doesn't look inedible yet. Casper, no. There, I already put on a lot of pepper. She's already very peppery, okay? She's a peppery pizza. You do get a lot of onion. I would say it's mostly onion and pepper flavored. The oiliness of the meat balances out the pepper on that on the left side better. Mm. Whereas pepper is like the main flavor on the non-beef side. If I cough to death? It's been good.
Honestly, not a bad. Would we make it again? Probably not. No. How can you see into my eyes? Oh, Tumblr vanilla extract cake. Look her in the eyes. How does she make you feel? Scared. Yeah. Texture-wise, I would say we achieved what the last person who made it reported. It's like a spongy, yeah. banana bready texture. Cheers. It has a terrible, like, lingering taste. It tastes like vanilla extract. Mm. Much less bad than just straight drinking out of the bottle of vanilla extract, but essentially that, but with, like, a terrible a terrible. very like wet spongy yeah. texture there was no fall hollywood handshake today there was a wet beef high five <laughs> this looks like some don't hug me i'm scared shit tell me i'm wrong but is this not giving me giving you tony the talking clock just a little bit it does you see it i do yeah happy to report that none of the pizza went to waste it was not very good but it was okay and we ate it as for the cake it did occur to me the Neutron Dance's version might have been tastier than ours because hers baked for 50 minutes and ours only baked for 25. Therefore, a lot more of the alcohol probably baked out of hers. So ours was definitely inedible, but I am still possibly willing to believe that hers wasn't. In conclusion, there are, there are still many more Tumblr vanilla extract cake experiments that could be done. Different ways to calculate the recipe, different bake times. Someone could try using artificial vanilla extract. Um, should they, should they, should these things be done though? No. I recommend this to no one ever. This is a terrible way to come up with recipes. Please never eat anything from a Tumblr poll. Remember to go check out this video sponsor, Scentbird. Use code strangejones 55 for 55% off your first month. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I will see you in the 1 million subscriber, My Immortal Special, in approximately two weeks.